high there. When a strong electrolyte like HCl is put in water, nearly the whole of it gets dissociated into H plus and Cl minus ions. Whereas a weak electrolyte like acetic acid is partially dissociated and many of the molecules are undissociated in water. Degree of dissociation is the amount of dissociation of an electrolyte in water. So here for example, out of the five molecules which are put in water, only one has dissociated and therefore the dissociation is 20%. Here two out of the five have dissociated, so we will say the dissociation is 40%. Here it is 60%. And in this case, it is 80%. So to find the ionization constant of HCl, which dissociates about 95% in water, we use this equation of equilibrium constant. So when one mole of HCl is put in water, we get about 0.95 moles of H plus ions and 0.95 moles of Cl minus ions in water. And we have only 0 0.05 moles of HCl in water which is undissociated. We therefore get a high Ka for HCl in water. On the other hand, when we put 1 mole of acetic acid in water, we get only 0 0.004 moles of H plus ions and 0 0.004 moles of CH3CO minus ions. And bulk of the acetic acid, uh, which is 0.996 moles, remains undissociated. Therefore, we get a very small value of Ka for acetic acid. And therefore, acetic acid is a weak electrolyte. So we now generalize this dissociation of a weak acid in water. If we start with one mole of a weak acid like HA and alpha is the number of moles which get dissociated. So we have alpha moles of H plus ions in water and alpha moles of A minus ions in water and what remains is one minus alpha moles of HA which remains in water. Similarly, if you were starting with a molar concentration of C, we will have C alpha moles of H plus ions in water and C alpha moles of A minus ions in water and what will remain of H A is C 1 minus alpha moles. So the equilibrium constant can be written as K is equal to C alpha square or alpha is equal to K by C square root for a monoprotic acid like HA. So here we see from this equation that alpha is inversely proportional to square root of C. So as the concentration of the weak electrolyte decreases in water, the degree of dissociation of the electrolyte increases and that is because K is constant for a reaction. Here we have dissociation constants of some acids and bases. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.